Welcome back. Great song, isn't it? Great song. Even when it's not his. <laughs> Brookie's back with another big interview, Brookie. I sure am, Carlos. Adam Lambert is a powerhouse. And for his latest album, he's put his incredible voice to the test by reimagining some of the best songs of the last few decades and giving them his own special twist. I was lucky enough to sit down with Adam while he's in the country to hear all about high drama. It is so lovely to see you in the flesh, no less. Oh, nice to see you too. Do you love being back in Australia? I do. And like, I got off the plane this morning and just like the first whiff of fresh air, it was like, ah, it's just beautiful out. It's the strangest thing to want me more than anyone before. So bad they usually do. So high drama. Yes. What a gift. Oh my god. Thank you. Do you just love being able to put your mark on music? I, I love making music. You know, I love, uh, you know, with this project, it was so fun to get into the studio and have a challenge to take songs that were already written, but then figure out ways to completely overhaul them and do something totally new with them. You, your range is incredible. I mean, I feel like you could do anything. Right. And so do you just like hear yourself singing it in the shower and you're like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I mean, I did have a long list when we when we started, um, and I don't know. It, it's like I it kind of went with my instincts on it. I, I like I like having a track listing that that makes people kind of stop and go, hmm. You know, I, I want to kind of challenge people and make people wonder what that's gonna sound like. <laughs> I loved holding out for a hero. Thank you. I mean, I do love, not past heads. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can keep loving it. Yeah. It's, you know, it's so camp. It's so yeah, ridiculous, that song. Exactly. It's such a guilty pleasure song. Yeah. It's high drama. That's, that's sort of what I've become known for. So is there any song, like a serious question, where you're like, oh, I would love to be able to, but I can't sing it? You know, I physically cannot. Because I, I can't imagine you having that problem. There's definitely songs where I'm like, oh, that's not for me. I mean, I think stylistically, there's certain styles that I'm like, mm, uh, I'll go over here. This is more my, my, my vibe. Like Remstein. Yeah, yeah, no, no <laughs> screamo metal. Yeah, yeah. no screamo metal. <laughs> I did a Metallica song last year at, at around Halloween, but yeah, metal is not quite my vibe. Yeah. And you're not probably going to have me pulling off like a, like an intense R&B song, like a contemporary R&B song. <laughs> yeah. you, you don't want to hear me do that. No. That's not going to work. I love that you're able to take on something and, and really make it your own. And I mean, I guess that's what you've done with Queen. Like, that must be a lot of pressure, but you seem to do it so coolly, so calmly. You're so You know, I, I feel like I'm better under a little pressure. Like, I, I tend to love a challenge. I like... You know, I was the kid in school that like waited to the last minute to do his homework or to, you know, like do his project. That like added pressure of like, oh, the deadline's right here. That always gives me a little extra fire, I think. Yeah. Or else I'd be bored, you know? Yeah. I don't want to be bored. What does that feel like to walk out on stage and, you know, you hear the first drum of the guitar or you hear the drums or whatever, and then you can hear the crowd going, going wild. That's why I do it. I mean, that feeling is like, there's nothing else like it. It's full adrenaline. You know, you're connecting with a giant group of people that are all connecting to the, the things you're doing. It's, it's hard to explain in words, but it's just such a powerful energy. I was 10 years old doing a musical for the first time and I felt it then. And I knew from the first time I felt it, I thought, oh yeah, this is for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm lucky that I get to keep doing it. You know, I feel yeah. like everybody has a, has a lifespan in this business and I am really blessed that I get to just keep making art, keep entertaining people, keep doing projects. You know, I'm not gonna let go anytime soon. What a voice. What a voice. Yeah. It's absolutely incredible. And Adam's album, High Drama, is out now. Go give it a listen. It is a whole lot of fun. We sing to see a song, Chandelier. That is the highest song yeah. ever. Mm. It's yeah, his so range, like high. you pointed out, is extraordinary. It's incredible yeah. because it can be quite deep. Yeah. yeah. But then he hits those high notes and you're like, Phew. bam. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Power. Pretty good, Alex. <laughs> mm. <laughs>
<laughs> well, we'll await your album release soon, eh? Mm -hmm. We have a busy half hour coming up uh, just ahead. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?